Hey guys, today let's go back to Wi-Fi security and uh, debunk a special feature called as the MAC filters, right? So I think you guys would have heard about MAC filters. So MAC filters are an age-old technique, you know, which is used for authentication and authorization of clients, right? But unfortunately, they seem to fail miserably in the wireless world. The basic idea is to authenticate based on the MAC address of the client, right? So the MAC filter is an identification code assigned to a network interface. A router will be able to check this code and compare it to a list of approved MACs. So this list of approved MACs will be maintained by the network administrator and will be fed into the access point right so let me show you uh, my setup so in this uh, uh, setup uh, you can see access point over here I'm using a D-Link uh, um, access point and I have a Ubuntu client over here which is a legitimate uh, client um, you know which is allowed to connect to this access point hence uh, the MAC address of this uh, Ubuntu client has been you know fed to this access point over here as a result these two devices will be able to connect or the Ubuntu client will be able to connect to the access point. At the same time we also have a attacking machine over here with a completely different uh, MAC address obviously and uh, we will be using this uh, demo to show how the MAC address of this particular uh, uh, device can be you know changed according to our needs so that we can trick this access point into believing that you know this particular machine is also a legitimate client right yeah so that that's what we are trying to do let me show you uh, my router so uh, I mean access point the D-Link access point right so I'll show you uh, the MAC filtering which I have done so in my case uh, it, it might not be the exact uh, similar UI in if you're using a slightly different uh, access point uh, but uh, as I told earlier I'm using a D-Link uh, access point and uh, this is how uh, I have configured it um, if you um, see over here I have turned the MAC filtering on and uh, over here I have mentioned the MAC address of the Ubuntu client right which is uh, a legitimate device which should be allowed to connect to the network or the access point right so uh, this is uh, the setup now let's see how how do we go about this how do we hack into s such a network where you want to trick the access point into believing right that you are the legitimate client as well right so let's see that yeah so let's uh, quickly you know turn on the Kali box yes we are in now to start with the uh, we will be um, we will be creating a monitor interface alright because as you know um, uh, we might use uh, Wireshark in this particular exercise and uh, as a result if you have to monitor the packets on an interface you need to have a monitor setup and that's what we will start with right um, let's do that let's quickly have a look at the current uh, configs so uh, yeah so I have the wireless interface WLAN 0 over here right let me use the airmon utility to create the um, monitor here you go let's wait yeah I think we have the monitor interface already up WLAN 0 mon right now let's quickly fire up uh, the Wireshark to get a couple of prerequisites for this exercise so the first one is uh, uh, we are trying to guess the MAC address right of uh, the access point right let's do that 
so as you see dlink is associated over here and dlink is the uh, source for this particular uh, you know frame so if you scroll down at the bottom you will be able to see the uh, mac address of the dlink router yes so i have it over here right so the mac address is 6c 1918f f1 71 and 81 so this is the mac address of the access point right of the dlink access point let's note it down right i'm going to copy this yeah so i have noted it down i think we don't want wireshark anymore so i will close this right now the next thing is we need to understand the channel number on which the access point is communicating right so for that we will again use uh, the air uh, arrow dump utility right a pretty uh, handy tool i must say let's uh, use the flag bss id because we are very interested in the access point right and now um, we need to mention the mac address of the access point which we just now captured from the wireshark right so let's do that let's yeah that is there now we mention the monitor interface which we have created right yes we have the channel number here so if you look closely over here we see that uh, the access point is actually communicating on channel number 10 you have ch mentioned here and you have 10 so it's channel number 10 right let's stop this utility now the next step what we have to do is uh, we uh, i mean we our, our main agenda is to spoof the mac address right we we have to trick uh, the access point into believing that this particular attacking machine has you know the mac address same as this ubuntu client right so we have to trick the access point into believing that the mac, the mac address over here is same as this right so for that we need to at first understand what is the mac address over here so we use again uh, the aero dump utility over here in order to get that information so i'll tell you how how do we do this so we use aero dump right and then we mention the channel number which we just now understood it's 10 we know the access point is working on channel number 10 right and then uh, we mention uh, you know a flag a it ensures that in the client section of the aero dump ng output only clients associated and connected to the access point are shown right we, we are basically limiting the information using this flag then uh, we mentioned bssid right yeah so um, after that the next input is the mac address which we got earlier from the wireshark so we mentioned the mac address of the uh, of the access point right and we follow this up with the monitor interface i think that's good so this might take a little bit of time we'll have to patiently wait let me pause the screen f I mean, recording now so that uh, i can resume when we have captured uh, uh, the relevant information yeah so i think we have the output which we decide if you look carefully at the first line over here right you can find that uh, we have a device with a MAC address B0, C0, 90, 1C, 29, and F5, you know, which is connected to the access point, right? And that's very good. So we once we know the MAC address of the legitimate Ubuntu client, we can we can now stop this and uh, you know try to change the MAC address of this attacking machine to this particular MAC address so that the access point assumes that we are the legitimate client right that like the so that the attacking machine can get into the network right for that what we do is let's first uh, you know disable the monitor interface which we had earlier created right let's use stop and let's stop it
yep it stopped you can have a look as well over here yes we are back to WLAN 0 right now uh, let's uh, change the state of WLAN 0 to down right we have changed it to down it's always a very good practice to since we are changing the MAC address on that particular uh, adapter it's it's always good to shut it change the MAC address and again th then go back and you know enable it right so what we'll do is we'll use a utility called as MAC changer right it comes inbuilt with the uh, Kali Linux so you should all have it use MAC changer and then use a flag dash M and now you mention the MAC address of the Ubuntu client which you just now found out right let me go back top yeah this one right so you take this particular MAC address and you mention it over here right and then you mention the interface right the WLAN 0 boom you already have it let me probably bring this interface up yes the interface is up so I think uh, you have seen how this is done so you can see the new Mac over here you know it has been changed to B0, C0, 901C, 29 and FI which is very much same as the Mac address of the legitimate client which is allowed to connect to the access point right if you want we could have a look as well over here Right, so this is my MAC filter and this MAC address which was the MAC address of the legitimate Ubuntu client is very much same as the MAC address of the attacking machine the Kali Linux you know which we just now configured right so now the access point will allow this particular machine to connect to it since it believes that this machine also is a legitimate client because of this MAC address right so hope that was useful that was a very simple uh, example of how you can bypass a mac filtering feature right all right ciao for now thank you